the tale of the wisdom Buddha, the eternal journey of youthful Manjushri. The following is an extraordinary tale from the Mahayana Sutra of the noble source of the Three Jewels. In a vast realm of timeless wisdom and transcendence, a profound conversation unfolds. The Bodhisattva all overpowering asked the Bhagavat about the youthful Manjushri who dwells within the Tharmadhatu and who teaches the Dharma without attachment. All overpowering inquired about the amount of time that had elapsed since the youthful Manjushri first entered the Dharmadhatu. In response, the Bhagavat revealed that billions of Buddhas who have passed into Parinirvana were established in the unsurpassed awakening by the youthful Manjushri. All of them have passed into Nirvana after death and reside in utterly pure realms. Once, several Kalpas ago, a length of time that is beyond measure, in this world appeared a Buddha named Glorious Wisdom. Preceding it, a tapestry of Tathagatas unfolded, source of wisdom, lion's roar, boundless taming. Their names a symphony of enlightenment echoing through indescribable aeons. In a single Kalpa, 60,000 Buddhas arose. The first of them was called Light. The last of them was the Tathagata Famous Light. Another era saw 40 million Buddhas appear in this world. The first of them was the Tathagata Dipankara. The last was the Tathagata Eyes of Awareness. Further still, 90 million Buddhas unfolded in a single Kalpa. The first of them was the Tathagata Blissful Eyes. The last was the Tathagata discerns with discernment. Long before that, the Tathagata Supreme Joy appeared in the world, and he brought forth the great Bodhisattvas, given fame, heroic skill, Eye of Brahma, and others. A celestial assembly adorned with millions of virtues, dwelling in realms of chastity. At that time, a Brahmin named Given by the Sun emerged. Little did he know that his destiny entwined with the imminent rise of the youthful Manjushri. Given by the Sun was known for his intelligence, sharp mind and righteousness, and was always accompanied by around 500 other Brahmins. He left his hometown of Jewel and went to a park called Various Delights. There he saw 11 Bodhisattvas, and he was filled with awe. The Bodhisattva given fame noticed the demeanor of given by the sun and thought to himself, this is a being who is capable of the unsurpassable awakening. He said to the other ten Bodhisattvas, venerable ones, this given by the sun has the bearing of a son of the Buddhas. He will become a vessel for the unsurpassable Buddha Dharmas if he receives kind instruction, he will benefit the lives of many beings and be a source of illumination. Think well upon this. Given by the sun, approached the eleven bodhisattvas. Recognizing their qualities, he prostrated to them as you would a teacher. He remained standing to one side in an act of great respect and happiness. The son of the family given fame, taught given by the sun about the rarity of Buddhas in the world and the difficulty of realizing the profound Dharma which transcends all worlds. He taught him the Dharma and the inexpressible unborn and unceasing nature of all Dharmas. Similar to an image in space, Dharmas have never arisen, do not arise and will never arise. After hearing this, all the Brahmins found great joy and mastered the profound teachings of Buddha Dharma. Given by the Sun and the eleven Bodhisattvas entered the presence of the Tathagata Supreme Joy. They prostrated to him and remained at one side. In that sacred space, they received teachings from the Tathagata about the inherent nature shared by all Dharmas, an essence defined by their absence of characteristics devoid of any inherent or independent existence. Upon hearing this, given by the sun gained the power of virtue. 
he ascended into the sky and saw innumerable worlds in the realms of the Ten Directions. He witnessed countless bodhisattvas in these realms, perfectly engaged in various skillful means. Additionally, he observed countless bodhisattvas appearing to pass away into Tushita, being reborn, attaining Buddhahood, and entering Nirvana. With a mind filled with great bliss, given by the sun offered meaningful verses praising the Buddha supreme joy. His virtuous act ensured that for countless kalpas, he'd retain wisdom and sanity, remain noble wherever he was born, he would always remain a great being and never fall into perversity. He would never need to rely on others or to seek their approval, and he would never fail to fully ripen beings even in the duration of an instant. Upon hearing this, the renowned given fame now emerges as the guardian of goodness within his lineage. Meanwhile, the once Brahmin given by the sun was transformed into none other than the illustrious youthful Manjushri. Thus, for a bodhisattva seeking self-reliance, emancipation from external guidance, and liberation from the need for appeasing others, the path lies in nurturing, venerating, and assisting spiritual companions to be able to fully enter into the Dharma Dhatu. To unlock the gates to profound teachings, bodhisattvas must embrace an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and inquiry. <laughs>